to cre create our flying text effect, we first open the program Text Wrangler, which allows the hidden markings to be shown and type the equations we'd be using into it. Then in After Effects, using a script that counts a user-specified number of returns, we generated each question as its own layer of text, making 20 layers at a time, until we had enough to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Next, we added a 3D camera so we could animate the layers in ZSpace, so they look as if they are flying towards the viewer. Using more scripts, we were able to make the layers distribute evenly and prevent them from appearing all at once. Adjusting the layers and adding fade effects to the text that appears farthest away from the user allowed us to achieve our final result. For the green screen, we chroma keyed the text in by taking our original footage, creating a screen mat in After Effects, putting a garbage mat onto it to take out the noise, then came out with our final result. Our next effect was the ghostwriting. To make the letters jumble and spell Intel Engineering Cool Kit, we imported a statics homework page into our video. We then matched it to the paper underneath, using mass and solid color shapes to make it look like a stack of paper. We made the letters move around by creating a layer for each letter and having the letters start their movement by beginning where they first appeared on the paper. We masked out the original letters to make it look like the letters actually left the original places. Then we worked to make the new letters have the same orientation and appearance, so we tried to transform them to match the real letters. Then we shaped the paths the letters took, increasing their scale as time went on, and had them slowly land in their final places to spell the words Intel Engineering Toolkit. To do some cleanup, we first screen captured from the computer video of navigating to their websites and loading the problem screen to place the correct Intel websites and problem onto the computer screen. Then we composited this into our video clip using After Effects, transforming the video capture to correctly fit the computer screen in the actual video clip. For our morphing effect, we first went to the Norcross site and downloaded the morphing software. Then we went to the Intel site to get a picture of the applications girl and cropped it in Photoshop. Next, we took an image of our live footage. In Photoshop, we added letters to the original footage to match the application. We placed the two images in the morph software and added the morph lines to both images. Then we rendered out the morph. And we hope you enjoyed our video.